Oh hey, what's good? You checking out my uh, portfolio? You know, it's nice and cool, you know, shiny, reflective. Or are you just checking out my fucking lit ass triceps? I mean, it's okay if you're checking out either one of them. But uh, you should be checking out this awesome portfolio. Or better yet, what's inside the portfolio. I'll put you on, I'll put you on. One second. YouTube. It's your boy Zay Parlay and I'm back here with another video and today guys I'm going to be showing you a whole bunch of new stuff. For those of you who do not know, I'm an artist and I love art, I love painting and drawing. I've said this before in the past videos that I've made and today I'm finally going to be showing you the things I've done uh, related to art. I'm going to be showing you what's inside this portfolio of mine and all the works that I've done from like past years all uh, leading up to now. Stay tuned for this video. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry, sorry. All right guys, so I'm gonna start off with my journey through art from like zero till now. When I was a young kid, like three years old, I went to daycare and there was this kid there that loved to draw and I, I used to just sit down and watch him draw. Like, he was older than the rest of us. I used to just watch him draw Goku and like, other characters or whatever. I used to be like, yo, you gotta teach me how to draw. But like, obviously I didn't say like, all that stuff. I used to sound like, probably like a kid, like, hey, can you teach me how to draw, please? I used to, like some kid shit. Watch him, I used to follow him. And I used to start drawing my own Goku figures with the big eyebrows and the small eyes and the crazy hair. And my mom, she used to be like, you're so good, Zaya. Like, something my mom would say, like, she called me Zaya. Everybody used to be like, oh my god, you're so good. Your, your child's so good. So I used to be like, oh my god. Coming, coming, coming. You know what I'm saying? So I had some, uh, some talents and shit. So I kept drawing. I drew a lot of stuff back then. I, I put it up in a little gallery because my art teacher used to love my, sh my stuff. Excuse me. And uh, here's one picture. Yeah, I know I look crazy different. Uh, but yeah, that's my first gallery. And here's some stuff from middle school. Let's skip past all that other stuff. So let's start in middle school. This is my first portfolio that I ever made, ever. Here's what's inside it. This is grade seven. So this is basically a still life I did. Uh, you see, it's like a cup uh, with like art books and like pencils and like a tropical book in the background. So what it looks like, the shading is kind of, you know, basic. But it's pretty good for a seventh grader, I think. I think I did pretty good back then. People were gassing me. Uh, Oh, this is cool. I have this on my I have this on my Instagram. Uh, this is Napoleon Dynamite caricature. I did in seventh grade as well. Uh, this is just lit. I love this drawing to this very day. I, I actually would hang this back up in my room because I forgot about it. Yeah, next a zombie that I did way back when. Zombie on fire with like fingers and guts spilling out of his forehead and all that dirty stuff. Like there's a village in the background. Let's see what I call this one. This is called what the fuck? Legends of Romans. I don't know where I came up with the name, but you know. Next. So this is supposed to be a picture of like a self-portrait of me uh, on an abstract canvas coming out of the canvas. Like my head's poking through. I have my brain poking out. I guess to represent that I'm smart. Eye that sees everything. I love I love doing that because I love like the eyes because like it means so much. This is one of the cool ones I did. This is abstract. I splattered a whole bunch of paint on the table. I had fun with this one. One more is this one. This is my first like painting, like real painting that I did on the actual canvas board. It was kind of really terrible, but you know, it was with my first oil painting. And I thought it looked good at the time, but you know. This looks like shit. So yeah, now that we're done with middle school, let's move on to some of my high, my high school stuff. I've drawn a, so I've drawn a lot more in high school than I have in middle school. I think I've gotten a lot better. There's a lot of stuff in my portfolio that I'm really proud of and that I actually have on my website. So let's get into that. All right guys, so basically let's start off with the, one of my more terrible pieces in high school that I've done and then we'll build up to what I think is the best one. This is supposed to be a Fanta bottle. 
still life, you know. Uh, one of my first oil paintings in high school. Not bad, I think I did pretty good with the lighting and all that. I just think it wasn't that realistic. I wanted to make it really realistic. I had a lot of trouble like getting the whites on top because I, I, never, I never really let it dry. So I, I realized that you have to let it dry before you can start painting over what you did already. So you live and you learn and that's one of my worst paintings that I think that I've done in high school. Next, second painting that I did in high school. This is not bad actually, I actually enjoy I actually like this one. If you guys know who this is, please let me know who you think it is. Type it down in the comment section because I really want to know what you, who you think this is. Uh, I think this looks pretty. Like, Even though it's not really that detailed, I like to make really detailed work. It's not that bad. I like it. The eyes really capture you, all this. And I had fun with this one. Here's another one that I love yeah, last year, but I still love this one a lot. This is supposed to be a tiger and with oil paint as well. I had fun with this one. This one looks really cool. I like the colors a lot. And I think this is one of my my, my, my nicer paintings for, for sure, I think, for sure. This is also on my new website, so if you want this or if you like it at all, just check out my website. It's really lit. You can go buy it. Uh, there's a discount right now. I don't know if it'll still be there by the time I upload this video, but you can probably get a discount if you get there early enough. Here's another one. This is getting up there on my, this is what's in my portfolio. This is a picture of Medusa, guys. So, I don't know if you like this one. This one's, I really love this one. I like her eyes. Usually, Medusa's supposed to be portrayed as someone who's very ugly and just like busted. And I just chose to make her beautiful and make it more like majestic. I thought I did really great with this one. It's a lot of graphite, so it is very shiny. When you go up close, there's a lot of detail put into it. The scales, the eyes, all that, so. I thought this was really like a really good piece to, to work on. I loved it. I just have to get better with the stenciling. This is also one of the first pictures that I did spray paint on. I actually love using spray paint on my work now. It's just, it just look good. So I call this picture right here, I call this Jazzy. This is my first instrument that I love so much. I played this for five years. This is a second instrument that I always love the way it sounded. So I just did this, it was basically uh, supposed to be about music and what it meant to me. Put my hand print on it because, I don't know, it's not really my hand, I just needed a hand print to go in there because I wanted to make it sexy. But this is another picture that I did with color pencil, uh, pastel paint, and spray paint and it, looked, it just came out great. And I put a little bit of uh, like some decals on there I guess, I don't know what to call it. Got a little effect, and I got some papers over here with music notes and all that. This is a really cool piece that I really love, and I made prints of this one too, so you can get this one on my website too if you like it. Oh, and also the Medusa one, you can get that one on my website too. But, uh, yeah, if you like these pictures and you want to put suggestions on what else I should draw, just let me know, I'll definitely draw something for you. Next! Do, 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 do. So, this I made... I was like, when I started doing spray paint for the first time, I was basically getting my inspiration from Chris Brown, cause that dude is like crazy at the spray paint. So I learned how to do like these stencils and I did my whole, this took me so long to do. Like I took me like, I messed it up like five times at least. And I finally got it right, right on my fifth time, on my fifth try. And I got it like perfect, I think. It looks really good. I did the space in the background. It's me in the middle, back when I had like short hair. And uh, you know, you, you see it, you see it. Uh, basically, the metaphor behind this one is, I'm in the like I'm an astronaut, bro. Like, I'm in the stars. Like you can't touch me, bro. Like I'm just that creative. I'm I'm up there. Like you're not on my level. Like, I'm in space. You're on the ground. Basically, not to be cocky. Like in the most humble way possible. I'm just saying. Like it's just a drawing. <laughs> it's just a metaphor. But this whole thing is done with spray paint and a little bit of white paint and black paint for the outlines. But this I'm so proud of because it took me so long to do. I, this is the first drawing that I haven't like just done and it came out beautiful. This one took work, like I actually worked for this one. So this one is, I'm really proud of. This is not sold on my website, but if you want me to sell this one, I will definitely make a print of it if you want this one. I don't know if you want my face on your wall or whatever, but if you went to that, definitely uh, buy it off my website. The representation of what I think of like when it comes to me. I did this for a class, for art class. Um, it's supposed to be me and the royal symbol and like I, 
where I love the rain, I love nighttime, I'm always up at night. I love the Bible, uh, I love my sister, her name is Issa. So I put her name in like pretty much all, all over this place. I got her name in my eyes, I got her name in my, in my book, my, my Bible. I got her name pointing up, I got her name in my other eye right here, small. Yeah, and then I got her name over here in my heart. This is supposed to be a heart. It's like the red blue portions they teach you in like science class. So if you can see it from a distance, right here. Like this one, it's just a creative thing I did. And yeah. New Yorkers, you might like this. Uh, for other people who don't support my, my team, you might not, but. So yeah, this is the this is a picture of the Giants team star players. Is, well, at the time, these were their star players. Uh, we didn't do too good this year, but I made this before the season started, and I think it looks pretty dope. Uh, if you think it's awesome, share this, and uh, yeah. This is also on my website. You could buy this if you're a Giants fan. If not, then you, you could buy it for whoever is a Giants fan. Uh, this took me about a week to finish. Uh, I learned a lot of technique on this one. I, I started with this one obviously because you can tell like how details are more severe on him because I, I learned from my mistakes from, from the first drawing that I did. So this was like a really good one that I did for an art show. And yeah, I love this one. So this is uh, basically a drawing of like a spinoff the show Stranger Things. I don't know if you guys watched that show, but I used to love that show. Yeah, I watched the whole the whole thing and I loved it. So I made this picture with the door and the, and the, the little kid opening the door to the upside down. And I made it so that when you turn it this way, it's like a tree. It's like two trees in one picture. It's supposed to be the tree up here and then the roots are down here and then the roots are hanging into space. And then you just have this weird creature over here. Like I just made that cause I just thought the show was weird, so. And then if you spin it upside down, it's another tree and the tree's on fire. So now this is the roots, and this is the tree, and it's on fire. And this right here at the base of the roots is my sister's name in hieroglyphics. Once again, I love my sister, and I put her name in my drawings, because it's cool. Yeah. So if you like this one, if you, if you fuck with Stranger Things, you could definitely also pull, <laughs> pull up on my website. <laughs> this one's on there too, if you wanna buy this one. I have like, Prince. I can make it like custom and it could be like special to you if you want. This is called Alpha and Omega. This is what it looks like. It's basically an Alpha werewolf and an Omega werewolf in their natural habitat. You got the, the full moon up here. This guy's worried because he is about to kill him. The full moon's about to kill him. You got the wolf up here in the cliffs and uh, scratch marks. You got Scary and then you got Puppy. So it's just a cool, it's a cool little thing I did. I like the way I did the shadows and the values and the highlights and all that. So I thought this was really cool. This is also on my website. If you want to buy this one, you can definitely go on my website. That's Cesar.com. So, so yeah, those are all my drawings that I have right now in my portfolio. There's a whole bunch more that I've done, so you can definitely check out my Instagram, Zayzart underscore, Z-A-Y-S-A-R-T underscore, and you can definitely see, it's right here, you can definitely see all the things that I've drawn on my channel, I mean, that I've drawn, period, and I posted on there so you guys can see. So if you want to see more stuff from me, it's not all the stuff that I've drawn, I've drawn a whole bunch more. Uh, you can definitely go on there and see. Also, definitely make sure you check out my website. If you like the, the couple drawings that I showed you and you want to buy some of those things, it's going to be on my website right here. And this is a new website I just made, like really like recently, probably like a week ago. And the art, you appreciate art. Or if you are inspired by this video to make art, share it with everybody, like, you know, get it out there and maybe I can inspire some more people. And if you enjoyed this video at all, Definitely click the like button. If you really enjoy this video, go buy some pictures or prints on my website. If you really like this video, go um, subscribe to this channel and also like my Instagram pictures and follow my Instagram. Uh, thank you once again. This is a portfolio slash website introduction. Uh, check me out. 
and I will see you next time on Zay Parlay. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out, guys.